On this case, we're going to use Dyad Flow for a small class one restoration. And in my mind, this is one of the areas where Dyad Flow really shines because you're going to see that in this type of restoration, it really makes the entire restoration so simple and so profitable and really so easy. And you're going to look forward to these types of restorations, I think. We've gone in and, and cleaned it out with a little fissure burr. And then we're blasting five seconds of air. Again, we're drying the dentin. We want dry dentin. That's how we get the highest bond strength with the dyad flow is to dry the dentin. It will bond to moist dentin as well if you prefer to leave it that way because that's how you were trained, your call. We're gonna use the syringe tip to fill up about half the restoration here. I might have done a little more there, but we're going to use the enclosed paintbrush to thin this material. And you can see not only are we thinning it along the cavity preparation floor, but we're smearing it up the walls as well, agitating it into the tooth structure for about 15 to 20 seconds. We're curing it here for 20 seconds because this is a shade A2. If this were a shade A3.5, for example, or the universal opaque, we would want to cure it for 40 seconds. I found the A2 to be kind of the universal shade of the dyad flow, and it looks good on, on just about everybody. So we're curing that for 20 seconds. So that initial layer is in place, and it's about half a millimeter thick. So I probably only need another millimeter of the dyad flow here. So I'm placing it directly on top of that first layer. And again, this is a restoration that typically we would probably restore with a flowable composite anyway. So the fact that it happens to be a self-adhering flowable composite makes it even easier. And again, I'm using that enclosed brush to kind of shape it and just remove a little of the excess. I know I need a central groove in this restoration. And so I'm just using the paintbrush to smear it a little bit. We really don't need any agitation at this point. So again, this is just removing a little of the excess. We're going to cure it for 20 seconds. And I'm using a slightly dull 7408 burr here just to go in and place a couple planes in there and make sure we don't have any excess at the margin. And then using the high luster composite polishing points to go in and smooth this off and, and make sure that we have a really nice transition from the composite to the tooth surface. And this is one of my favorite little instruments. This is the Aqua brush being used. It's got built-in polishing paste in the bristle, so there's no separate polishing paste that's necessary. And it also does a really good job of removing any excess or flash that happens to be on another part of the tooth. And as you look at the before and after, you can see that we were able to do a pretty quick direct posterior class one composite here with very little effort and very nice results.